everybody, Carla here, and it's day four of Juicy June. I am feeling really good, having a bit of detox, a little post nasal drip. I was a little irritable with my family yesterday, but <laughs> other than that, uh, feeling very, very good, clear, just really feeling that clarity that I was looking for, and now, and knowing that as our days go go along, that'll just increase, which always makes me happy. Okay, a couple of housekeeping things before we get to today's big topic. First, um, one of the most important things to people as they go through this process is weight loss. I understand that. I keep telling you I'll stay off the scale. Knowing that, uh, it's important for people to see the results of the actions that you take. So what I'm going to do is every week, on Tuesdays, I'll post my Saturday weight results. So this Saturday is our week anniversary for Juicy June, and so I'll weigh myself every week. I'll weigh myself every week and then post that post those numbers on my uh, on my Tuesday video. So that's coming up, and then also I want people to know that we have the most amazing supportive fantastic group of people over on our Facebook page who are also going through Juicy June so if you need some support if you need some help if you want to look and see what other people are going through and their trials tribulations successes through this June juice fast come over to the Facebook page and ask any questions post your juices talk about what's going on with you and there are plenty of people who are going through this with you so it's really fantastic, and I want everybody to feel the love. So come on over to Facebook, and we'll, we'll hang out over there. Okay. One of the biggest questions I get, besides the whole, do I really have to go <laughs> have a colonic? I don't understand what the issue is with people having colonics and enemas. And it's your ass. Oh, well, yeah. Mm, excuse me. It's your butt. <laughs> you know what you put in your mouth and what comes. It's and Anyway. That's a whole other video. This video is about hunger and the fear that people have when embarking upon a juice fast and thinking that they're going to be hungry. Like it's like somebody's talking about putting them on the rack. It's in this sense, hunger is actually a good thing. And let me talk to you about why that is. First of all, uh, having just had the baby, my baby is eight weeks old now. I can, you, I clock him. I know exactly when he starts to get irritable, when he starts to get fussy, is around the third hour bef since I fed him. So if I feed him at one o'clock, he starts getting fussy around three thirty. Like, mm, mm, I'm starting to sense something, something. And around three forty-five, he's where's my bottle? Heifer, where's my bottle? <laughs> So it's this natural sense. There's, there, he's not on a clock. He doesn't have McDonald's. He doesn't, you know, it's, he doesn't know all these things. He senses his inner hunger, and that's a real thing for him. So at four o'clock, I feed him a bottle, and then we, you know, we're we're off to the races. Your body is like that. Your body is automatically going to tell you when it is that you're hungry. When you're hungry, you feed it a juice. You give it some water and it gets satiated. When you're giving it real honest to goodness, 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 like this green juice right here, then it feels good. You're feeling really powerful. You're feeling satisfied. And that sense of body hunger is taken care of. Now, that is the hunger that I'm talking about here. You're going to feel emptied out. You're going to feel like your stomach is emptier than it has been when you're on food. And that is a good thing because that emptiness leaves room for you to fill it with nutrients, for you to fill it with vitamins, for you to fill it with other activities that don't have to do with food, for you to fill it with your hopes, your dreams, your focus, your your understanding of what your new life is going to be and what your new health is going to be. So don't fear that don't fear that sense of emptiness. Welcome it because you're able to fill that with all the things that you've ever wanted. What I want to talk about though is the mind hunger. There's a difference between body hunger and mind hunger. I know I've talked about this in another video, but this is important to talk about now because in the beginning of a fast your body hunger is satisfied with juice, 
but your mind hunger is kicking your butt, right? It's just like, oh my God, I want to chew. <laughs> when am I going to have food again? I don't understand why I've done this to myself, right? You go through all that. Why have I done this? This is some crap. I need a burger. And it's your triggers. It's your body trying to tell, your mind trying to tell you, what have you done here? Why are you doing this? We don't want to change. We're fine with the way that we were. Fried chicken and funnel cake and ice cream. That's what we want. And that's not what you want. Your mind can be controlled. It's habit and habits can change. Yesterday, I had two things I needed to do. I was running some errands. The first is I needed to go to my business mailbox. And the second was I needed to go and schedule my colonic. Now, the place where my business mailbox is, I used to stop at a McDonald's on the way there. So as I'm driving down the street, my mind is saying, oh, are we going to the McDonald's? Are we going to the McDonald's? Are we going to the McDonald's? Oh my God, let's get a fly fish. That we get, we need the, we need the big, the big fries, the big fries, not the small fries, the big fries, and the Coke. Oh, we can have a Coke, and that just washes it all down. Oh, the, the, fu, fu, like a fish. That's what my mind did as I was driving to my mailbox, because the habit of taking that route. All, it, it's just an automatic thing. You hit the McDonald's, you hit the mailbox, you're driving home and you're eating the McDonald's while you're driving. But it's not the truth. It's not what is necessary. It's not what needs to happen. So you can ignore that and drive right by and go pick up your mail and not have to stop at the McDonald's. You don't have to do that. Same thing happened when I went to go schedule my colonic. I was driving past this place where I always went and got a, like a chicken kebab or I always went and got a salmon salad and you know it, your mind automatically says we're going to that place right we're going to that place where they have the really great samosas they got the really great salmon salad it's habit and you can conquer that habit you will find that as you go through this process that mind hunger is false you're not hungry the body hunger that comes up comes up gradually it's just like this little bitty sense in your body that says you know i haven't had something in a couple hours feel a little hungry feeling all right. feel a little hungry I can, I'm, I'm cool for now i'm cool i feel like you know i could i could have a little something right and if you ignore that it gets louder and louder and louder until you give it some nutrients. But it's not that, oh my God, I'm starving sense that mind hunger is. Mind hunger will kick your butt. Mind hunger will tell you that you need to go and have a whole pizza. Mind hunger will tell you you're stressed. Your family is calling. The bills need to be paid. The this needs to be done. The, the Your boss is calling you. Your girlfriend pissed you off. Your boyfriend pissed you off. You're this, you're that, and all of that you need to eat in order to deal with it. You need to eat in order to numb yourself out so that you can deal with it. You need to eat because that's the way that you've always held, you've always handled it before. That's mind hunger and that you can get over. I talk about this because like I said, in the beginning of a fast, that mind hunger is gonna kick your ass and in a couple of days, it will not bother you. It will not bother you. You will have adapted yourself to your juicing schedule, to your juice regimen, and your body is like, okay, we're good. And your mind will shut down. Your mind will quiet down. And know that as you are juicing, your body is satiated. So the key to working all this out, the key to not being hungry and to faking your mind out is that when your body wants to, when your mind wants to reach for KFC, your mind wants to reach for that funnel cake, that ice cream. You think, I'm hungry, I have to grab some KFC. I'm hungry, I have to grab, I have to grab, I have to grab. Grab some juice, really. I'm hungry, I have to grab some Eggs Benedict. I'm hungry, I have to grab some, grab a juice. 
Right when your mind says, I'm hungry, I have to grab, grab a juice. Because in a few days, your mind will automatically think, I'm hungry, I have to have a juice. I'm hungry, I have to have a juice. I'm hungry, I have to have a juice. Because you're training it to grab what's good for you. You're training it to grab green juice, to grab some beet pineapple juice, something, something that's going to taste good for you. Trust me when I say that it works. Trick your mind into wanting the juice and that's how you will get through your cleanse. All right? You have questions? Put them below and I'll see you later.